love, peace, love, peace, love, peace, love, peace, love. Hey, soul family. Hey, soul tribe. It's your girl, Tracy Shay, coming to you with Thriving Thursday. universe allowing me to be a vessel allowing me to be a channel for using me as an instrument to bring forth this to you all so i went ahead um sage cleanse the energy and pull some angel cords for the collective and we have take time to breathe thank you angels i breathe with ease knowing you are here Thank you, universe and angels, for the blessings in my life. Thank you, angels, for helping me to step back from what's not serving me. Thank you, angels, for helping me to express my inner creator. I'm ready to take a leap, angels. Thank you for doing it with me. Thank you, angels, for opening up the doors to change. I am ready. Yay. Thank you, Jafael, for helping me discover my inner and outer beauty. <laughs> Thank you, Jeremiah, for helping me understand the process of forgiveness. We 
with our forgiveness, you just got all type of blockages and blockages and blockages and can't what can get in if you're all blocked. That's why you got to release that. That's why you got to forgive for yourself so that you can receive what's coming towards you. Thank you, Orion, for manifesting your miracles in my world. Thank you, angels, for supporting me as I follow my joy. Thank you, Shemuel, for removing the barriers around my heart. Thank you, angels, for surrounding me with people I can trust and love. Thank you, Gabrielle, for helping me to speak with integrity. All right. So today I'm reading from the Four Agreements, a Toltec Wisdom book by Don Miguel Ruiz. This book is really good. I finished it in one day. Like, I mean, it's not that long. It's not that many pages, but really good. I definitely recommend if you haven't read it to check it out. It's a good read. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, bring in this new year, this uh, first 2021 Thriving Thursdays with some affirmations and uh, some prayers and confirmations, some positive words, okay? So I just want, um, let's take a moment to close our eyes, open our hearts, and feel the love that comes from our heart. I want you to join with my words in your mind and in your heart to feel every strong connection of love. Together, we are going to do a very special prayer to experience a communion with our Creator. Focus your attention on your lungs as if only your lungs exist. Feel the pleasure when your lungs expand to the fulfill the biggest need of the human body to breathe. Take a deep breath and feel the air as it fills your lungs. Feel how the air is nothing but love. Notice the connection between the air and the lungs, a connection of love. Expand your lungs with air until your body has the need to expel that air. And then exhale and feel the pleasure again. Because when we fulfill any need of the human body, it gives us pleasure. To breathe gives us much pleasure. Just to breathe is, is enough for us to always be happy. To always enjoy life. Just to be alive is enough. Feel the pleasure to be alive. The pleasure of the feeling of love. Prayer for freedom. Today, creator of the universe, we ask that you come to us and share with us a strong communion of love. We know that your real name is love, that we have a communion with you that to have a communion with you means to share the same vibration, the same frequency that you are. Because you are the only thing that exists in the universe. Today, help us be like you are. To love life. To be life. To be love. Help us to love the way you love. With no conditions, no expectations, no obligations. Without any judgment. Because when we judge ourselves, we find ourselves guilty and we need to be punished. Help us to love everything you create unconditionally, especially other human 
beings. Especially those who live around us. All our relatives and people whom we try so hard to love. Because when we reject them, we reject ourselves. And when we reject ourselves, we reject you. Help us to love others just the way they are with no conditions. Help us to accept them the way they are without judgment. Because if we judge them, we find them guilty. We blame them and we have the need to punish them. Today, clean our hearts of any emotional poison that we have. Free our minds from any judgment so that we can live in complete peace and complete love. Today is a very special day. Today we open our hearts to love again so that we can tell each other, I love you. Without any fear and really mean it. Today we offer ourselves to you. Come to us. Use our voices. Use our eyes. Use our hands in a communion to share ourselves. In love with everyone, through love, for everyone, to everyone. Today, Creator, help us to be just like you are. Thank you for everything that we receive this day. Especially for the freedom to be who we are, who we really are. Amen. Prayer for love. We are going to share a beautiful dream together. A dream that you will love to have all of the time. A dream that you will love to have all of the time. In this dream, you are in the middle of a beautiful, warm, sunny day. You hear the birds, the wind, and a little river. You walk towards the river. At the edge of the river is an old man in meditation. And you see that out of his head comes a beautiful light of different colors. You try not to bother him, but he notices your presence and opens his eyes. He has the kind of eyes that are full of love and a big smile. You ask him how he is able to radiate all that beautiful light. You ask him if he can teach you to do what he is doing. He replies that many, many years ago, he asked the same question of his teacher. The old man began to tell you his story. My teacher opened his chest and took out his heart in the, and he took a beautiful flame from his heart. He then opened my chest, opened my heart, and put that little flame inside it. He put my heart back in his chest, and as soon as my heart was inside me, I felt intense love. Because the flame he put in my heart was his own love. That flame grew in my heart and became a big, big fire. A fire that doesn't burn, but purifies everything that it touches. And that fire touched each one of the cells of my body. And the cells of my body loved me back. I became one with my body, but my love grew even more. That fire touched Every emotion of my mind and all the emotions transformed into a strong and intense love. And I loved myself completely and unconditionally. But the fire kept burning and I had the need to share my love. I decided to put a little piece of my love in every tree. And the trees loved me back. And I became one with the trees. But my love did not stop. It grew more. I put a piece of love in every flower, in the grass, in the earth, and they loved me back, and we became one. And my love grew more and more to love every animal in the world. They responded to my love, and they loved me back, and we became one. But my love kept growing and growing. I put a piece of my love in every crystal, in every stone, in the ground, in the dirt, in the meadows, and they loved me back. And I became one with the earth. And then I decided to put my love in the water, in the oceans, in the rivers, in the rain, in the snow. And they loved me back. And we became one. And still my love grew more and more. I decided to give my love to the air, to the wind. I felt a strong communion with the earth, with the wind, with the oceans, with nature. My love grew and grew. I turned my head to the sky, to the sun, to the stars, and put a little piece of my love in every star, in the moon, in the sun, and they loved me back. 
And I became one with the moon and the sun and the stars, and my love kept growing and growing. And I put a little piece of love in every human. And I became one with the whole of humanity. Wherever I go, whomever I meet, I see myself in their eyes because I am a part of everything because I love. And then the old man opens his own chest, takes out his heart with that beautiful flame inside. He puts that flame in your heart and now that love is growing inside of you. Now you are one with the wind, with the water, with the stars, with all of nature, with all animals, with all humans. You feel that heart in the light from the flame in your heart. Out of your head shines a beautiful light of different colors. You are radiant with the glow of pure love and you pray. Thank you, creator of the universe, for the gifts of life you have given me. Thank you for giving me everything that I have ever truly needed. Thank you for the opportunity to experience this beautiful body and this wonderful mind. Thank you for living inside me with all your love, with all your pure, boundless spirit, with your warm and radiant light. Thank you for using my words, for using my eyes, for using my heart to share your love wherever I go. I love you just the way you are. And because I am your creation, I love myself just the way I am. Help me to keep the love and peace in my heart and to make that love a new way of life that I may live and love and that I may live and love the rest of my life. Amen. I say that's beautiful. Okay, so y'all i'm gonna go ahead and conclude with one poem and this is called in spite of war by angela morgan in spite of war in spite of death in spite of all men's suffering something within me laughs and sings and i must praise with all my breath in spite of war in spite of hate Lilacs are blooming at my gate tulips are tripping down the path in spite of war in spite of wrath courage the morning glory state, rejoice, the daisy murmured. And just to live is so divine when pansies lift their eyes to mines. The clouds are romping with the sea and flashing waves call back to me that naught is real but what is fair, that everywhere and everywhere a glory living through despair, through guns, Though guns may roar and cannon boom, roses are born and gardens bloom, my spirit still may light its flame. At that same torch whence poppies came, where morning's altar whitely burns, lilies may lift their silver urns, in spite of war, in spite of shame. And in my era, a whispering breath, wake from the nightmare, look and see that life is not but ecstasy. In spite of war, in spite of death, death. In spite of everything that's going on in this world, y'all, there are things to still be grateful for. There are things to still um, be joyous about. Yes, we are living in rough times right now. It's a lot going on in this world with the capital and COVID and everything all the distractions all the things that are happening right now in the world it's a lot going on right now and though it's a lot of trouble so you just have to um still look at the bright side of things throughout the darkness but then the darkness that is still like to be shined upon this world so shine your light still all right um shine your light 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 the song that i was playing is from um sir rich not famous so this is important and the information will be in the description below peace love peace love peace love peace love, love i hope this resonated with you all tune in monday for meditating monday I will be back starting off the week right. I hope this is ending off your week right. Okay? Namaste.